What is good? I mean, what is really good, my people? It is UK. Trial Brother, Dr. Blade, the Darkest Man. Around and today, guys, we'll be reviewing the latest chapter of One Piece. One Piece 862. Am I right? 862? Yep. Yep. Yeah, 862 of One Piece. And I'm here with Royal T. Say hi to the people, man. What's up, guys? We're back at it again. Um, honestly, this chapter, I didn't expect it to be so hype. Like I thought we might have maybe just maybe just a little more build up, but man, this chapter was great. Like all this stuff we Whew. Okay. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I was so yeah. excited, bro. Yeah. But anyways, give them a quick recap, then so, we could talk about it because yeah. I really want to talk about yeah. this chapter, bro. Okay, okay. <laughs> so basically it um we have in the beginning uh fucking they're trying to wake up Luffy. Jim Bay's trying to wake up Luffy. He's not waking up because he's super tired, obviously, from all the shit he's going through and or gone through. And then we, you know, we skip over to the wedding, and <laughs> it's so funny how in the beginning Sanji is like looking all happy and shit, and it's just like, and <sighs> I gotta say, I was giving a little bit ahead here. I I didn't know that uh, Pudding would have a past like that, so I. I, all the hate I had towards her completely gone because it's understandable why she turned out the way she did and I just oh man it was so good but anyways so yeah we have the wedding everything's going on um, they finally reveal the cake which is huge as hell and everyone's in awe because of it and then we have uh, you know everyone just basically talking and stuff and Big Mom is basically foreshadowing that soon everyone or the German, they're gonna get, you know, whacked. She's about to kill him. And then uh we have I like I like how uh Sanji's sister Reju like she's just like <laughs> she realizes the predicament they're in. Like she looks around, she's like, Wow, we're the most like open. We're like we're we're actually about to die. And I like how I'm not gonna say I like, but it's it's weird how she's just like, Yeah, the germ are necessary to just die. We just need to die right here. Like Sanja, you need to live though. And I was just like, Man, she doesn't if anything, those other guys need to die. Reju is is cool. I like her. I like how she's, you know, really reserved to everything. And then so we move over to basically the vow. And, you know, I thought that that pudding would mess it up, but I didn't expect it in this way. So basically, you know, the vows are being said and then Katakuri, he actually sees the future a little bit. He sees that pudding is on the ground. And I'm wondering when I'm reading like, what? What is that? So I wonder what that is. That is that her just setting it up to where she can just maybe just get a clean shot. But we find out that it's because Sanji actually compliments her on her, you know, third eye, which I, you would think maybe that really wouldn't do anything, but considering her past, which we also see that she was basically bullied, um, no one treated her right, especially her own mom, calling her weird and all that stuff, and that's why she turned out so, you know, nasty, but Sanji just complimented <laughs> her, just completely just threw everything off so now you know <laughs> big mom and them are all questioning like uh come on you need to shoot him already and then you know katakuri takes his own hands and i just love the fact that saji is just like you know looking after pudding and as that happens like katakuri just flings the beam and he's and saji's like nope and then and then he yeah. ends up he ends up <laughs> killing the uh the other guy and they're all they're like the priest, yeah bro, the priest freaking... they're, and they're just like shit and then as soon as that happens they're like luffy the shot go 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 and then oh my god fucking hype because this man just goes out of the wedding cake as we all thought and he has you know some of those animal clones with them or whatever and they're just eating it and big mom looks completely shocked so you already know in the next chapter she's gonna be pissed because this nigga's eating her cake yeah so yeah but uh yeah but let's say yeah. we're gonna say yeah no no it's fine i was just saying that that was pretty much a recap so we can go ahead and talk about uh, it now okay so when it comes to this chapter my my, my thoughts bruh oda fooled a lot of people because a lot of people were in the in the frame of mind that pudding is evil pudding's evil pudding 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 pudding's the major villain of this arc pudding's the major villain of this arc 
And me, I was what at the beginning, I was one of those people that thought that Pudding wasn't evil. I thought, okay, Pudding can't be this much of a of an evil person. Like she can't be evil. But it turns out her backstory and the stuff that she's been through is what made her the way she is. And she even said that she's been forced to kill this guy. She couldn't bring herself to do it just because of the fact that she of the fact that she um she realized that Sanji's the only one that actually accepts her for being who she is and that that's the reason why she started crying and the cool thing about this all is the fact that Katakori was able to see everything happening that like so when he said it, why is putting on the ground me initially I thought she got shot <laughs> oh <laughs> like that, was, okay. that was my initial reaction I thought yeah. someone shot pudding when she went to the ground when Katakori saw it and then it turns out that she was crying I was like okay is this fake because like i'm yeah. not sure if this is real because pudding is known for pretending acting, acting, i'm not sure yeah. if this yeah. is real like I, I was tweeting as all of this was going down and i was like okay i'm not sure if this is actually legit i'm not sure if pudding is actually just like just trying to pull something over sanji's eyes but it turns out that pudding was actually like gone through a lot it turns out that she's been through a lot and seeing her backstory seeing how uh, Big Mom was like, oh, you are pretty creepy, by the way. And I've yeah. seen how everyone used to make fun of her for the eye and everything. And I, yeah, it like, kind of explains why she is the way she is. Like, that, that was dope to me. But mm-hmm. say what you're going to say. Yeah, like, I, I totally agree. But uh, I was a little different when we first got you to putting, like, I, I, I didn't like her. But, like, I mean, I felt there was probably a reason why she was that way in the first place. And obviously, being around someone as toxic as Big Mom is gonna obviously mess with you. So, and I didn't expect her her backstory to be like that, to where no one pretty much accepted her, which is why, you know, probably when she when the veil got lifted <laughs> up, she expected Sanji to be like, "Ugh, why do you have a third eye?" You know what I'm saying? And she would just shot him point blank, probably. And he exactly. She she even said, "Say hello to the the third eye," like. When she said that, it kind of indi- it kind of indicated that she was expecting Sanji to be scared. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. she was expecting him to be scared. She wasn't expecting him to accept it. And then Sanji gives the reaction that he does. It kind of makes her feel like like someone actually cares for her for the first time ever. And this right. this is something that raises the question to a lot of people: What is gonna happen to put in at the end of this arc? Right. Is she gonna end up joining the Straw Hat crew? A lot of people are saying that she will now. Because after this arc, there's no wish, there's no going back for her. She's messed up the whole plan. She's ruined everything. She's made Big Mom angry. She's gonna help the Straw Hats. And based on what she's done, it will make sense for her to go with the Straw Hats than for her to stay. And if she does stay, she's she's pretty much gonna die. Right. Like there's no there's no option about it. Like her fate at this moment in time, she's more safe with the Straw Hats than where she's at now. If you know what I mean? Like she's more mm-hmm. safe going with them and then on top of that Sanji likes and everything like wow <laughs> yeah, wow <laughs> yeah, I agree uh, and, like I don't know what Oda's doing because Oda's already tricked a bunch of people some people were like it was obvious that Putin was evil it was obvious my friend was like oh I told you I told you he was taught at me and it looks like Putin is not evil she was just misunderstood and she mm-hmm. just needed someone to care for her yada 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 but seeing Katakori going I can do nothing about this and seeing how angry Big Mom was and seeing Sanji dodge them bullets it got me hyped this <laughs> yeah. chapter yeah. like I mean, did you notice that the pacing was really good like yeah like yeah, a lot yeah. of it was quick oh, yeah. like a lot I breezed of through happened. that chapter so quickly like it was amazing seeing all of that like wow <laughs> oh yeah, Oda, I, bro I can't wait for the next chapter because I I know it's gonna be late like like I said in the beginning I didn't expect this chapter to be, to be so good like I expected maybe a little build up and then we get something towards the end that's like a cliffhanger maybe but no we just went straight into it and so much happened and it's just like damn man this this chapter was absolutely great I loved it um, yeah. Uh, yeah my favorite part definitely had to be probably the whole pudding you know, I was one of those people that was like, yeah, she's just evil. Like, she's, yeah, she's yeah, just so evil. Screw that, huh? We screw her. <laughs> screw her because she made Sanji cry. She did all this fucked up shit. It's just like she's playing to shoot him in the head. And then you realize it, it's not what you thought it was. And it's just like, okay, I actually like her character now because, you know, she's been through a lot. So I'll forgive her for that. It's not her fault. She, she ended up that way. But yeah, yeah that, that chapter was wow it was it was shocking with the with the events that happened everything and then seeing how big mom's plan like everyone's plan is going to shambles mm-hmm. bro, because mm-hmm. they got the wrong signal um category or like he said what's about to happen i cannot stop 
because he because oh, even though he can see the future like like there's some there's too many events going on at once mm -hmm. that he cannot stop all of them like uh like seeing how cool he is he's, he's gonna have to fight yeah. i think he's gonna I, fight now you know what uh, i have to quickly say I, I like how even though he has that power it shows that he's not like as op as maybe we thought he was gonna be because i originally thought that maybe he was just gonna be able to just kind of like negate the plan their plan but he was like fuck man i can't do anything there's too much going on like there's just way too much like whatever happens it's gonna have to happen so i like that but what would you rate the chapter out of five stars it's five like yeah, there's no yeah, debate. Yeah, there's it's no debate. Five. Like, you don't it's think about five. it you just give it a solid yeah. five like yeah. the chapter was was amazing it was the ah uh, um it, 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 it's way better than the category introduction chapter mm -hmm. yeah i thought that chapter was lit bro but this chapter right here wow yeah, yeah I <laughs> this, love this chapter, chapter right here was amazing the anime can't screw this up like that like totally don't, don't screw up this arc in the anime, like, please. <laughs> this arc is already slow like don't don't don't, don't screw it up like it was slow at the beginning and it started to build up but the point that we are now it needs to be i can I, like listen to all the stuff that um pudding went through it made me think of um of how <laughs> it made me think of the ost that could possibly be playing in the anime when this is happening like wow this is this is dope i'm yeah i'm, I'm excited for the next chapter yeah well you got yeah. anything else to add no man i i agree like i really enjoyed this chapter five stars it was great and yeah i think that's pretty much it we covered everything i think okay so guys make sure you check out royal t's channel link will be in the description below i highly recommend it and yeah let me just wrap up this video so please comment and subscribe i know i say this all the time but at the end of the day i'm just saying please leave a like rate them enjoy this video and yeah this uk Trotter brother will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.